I tell you, I would like to be able to come up with some fancy rationale, but the truth is I have no idea why I did it. I, I guess it was just an impulse and uh, or my inner voice just said, do it. I just said, Dr. King, can I have that speech? And he was folding it and he handed it to me. And it was a classic example of taking an old cliche and making it reality, being in the right place at the right time. I look back on it now and it was certainly a, a put me in, in a, a historic position at a, at a historic time in, in, in the lives of black people in, in, in America. So I, I, I feel most fortunate. But one of the things that I also realized that because I was fortunate and, and lucky enough to be there, that I should never uh, profit from, from that. And so uh, I've always tried to, to maintain a sense of dignity and righteousness as it relates to the speech. I have no intention of ever trying to, to profit from it or sell it. Uh, as I've said on other occasions, I'd like to think my mom and dad and my grandma raised me better than that. Uh, I don't see the speech as being a possession of mine. I think I'm just a guardian of it. Uh, the speech belongs to, to America.